Hello everyone, hope you're having a great week or a great weekend. This is a video showing Jason and I unveiling the beds that have been resting since Jason made them in the fall. And we also have some cold frames. It is end of February, mid-ish February. So for us, our frost-free date isn't until March 15th. So things that we're planting out now just need a little bit of protection. So with this is a video just showing where we are now in the garden. So hope you enjoy this video and if you guys have any suggestions or anything else that you think might work well for us. I know we're sometimes a little bit ahead uh, just because of our climate. And so if you guys have any suggestions, that would be great. Thank you. Oh, frozen. Yes. Exciting days. We are uncovering some of our beds here. See how winter has treated them. Okay. What are we doing here, hun? Setting up the cold frames, hun. Awesome. Ready? Awesome. It's the unveiling. Oh, looks like a few weed seeds. Looks like we stepped on the beds a couple times. So. Totally fine. Totally fine. good oh a worm made it through the cardboard or did he go around mm -hmm. we still have seaweed or sea kelp or bull kelp and then the layer of leaves is still there And then there's the cardboard there. That looks pretty good though. So what is that? That's about maybe four inches okay. down there. But it all looks pretty good. So we will rake it out, get yep. it smooth, yep. and then, then what? Put down our cold frames. Yeah. And plant some onion. onions. Onions. A little bit deeper. Right. We're going to plant them a little bit deeper. Halfway. Halfway. Right on. Okay. Just out of curiosity, we're going to pull up the edge and see what's under the cardboard. Mm, let me find a spot that I can actually pull up. That's the cardboard. Man, the grass is pretty much goners. Yeah. Oh, there's some worms. Beetles? Maybe some Something. beetles. Yeah, the grass is kind of gone. Well gone. And then... Still some root structure there, yeah. but... Yeah. No, it's looking good, I think. I think, so. I think it's looking good. Denying access to light is killing them. Killing them. Some more worms. All right. Okay, good okay. job. Here we go. This is very exciting. Note to self. Yeah? It's not plant carrots. <laughs> parsnips here this year. This is not where they go. I don't think so. All right. Just raked it out and then leveled it off a bit. Looks like it's good to go. Sweet. Okay. So pro tip. If you got, uh, we're, what we're going to do is we're going to go 20 centimeters, which is about eight inches between between and then 10 centimeters, which is about four inches between. The thing, from the edge. From the edge. From each other, I think, yeah. Yeah, these are all. Oh, I getcha. Yeah, so these, oh, are, I getcha now. these are the rows like this, right? Okay, so in the row, they're 10 centimeters, and then between the rows, they're 20. Right, yeah, yeah. But the pro tip is, is when you have measuring devices like this, don't put them in the, uh, the wood chip pathways. Hard to see. They, they, they become difficult to see. So anyways, we're going to put that there. And I used the fancy dibber. The fancy dibber. So what we're going to do is worm castings on this side. We'll get some sort of stick or something. And then just the straight ones on this side. And now are you just putting the... Okay, so we discovered that putting worm castings on the top makes it like not... 
Yeah, we're gonna put the worm castings in the hole. We're gonna mix it in. Yeah, mix it in. Okay, that's yeah. a good. You we need got to some mix tips it in. on that. So yeah. Okay. Okay. Mixing in the worm. All okay, right. here we go. So we'll do three rows with worm castings, and then three without. Okay. Awesome. Oh. Nice roots. We just planted them. It's a little more than halfway. Okay. They're just little babies. There you go. Look at the roots. Wait. These are five days five days old? Yeah. Okay, hold on. I didn't actually stop recording there. I should have. Oh, it's, no, it's good. What are you doing? Quit moving. Quit moving. Perfect. <laughs> Adding an extra row of four just to see if the spacing works out. Yep. Yep. I like it. I like it a lot. Gotta say, it seemed like the worm castings had better roots, so. Mm, we should have filmed one without, but that's okay. You got any still without? Uh, yeah, but I don't know, like, the, I just. They're not the greatest? Yeah, they're the weakest ones, or I think they The are, weakest link. Definitely, definitely the worm castings had, um, seemed to anyways have more structure. Like I was pulling, you can actually see. These are the worm castings here, so almost all the soil came out. And then the ones with it didn't, there's a lot of soil, like, in kind there. of left in. Gotcha. So, super scientific, of course. And then I planted two right together, just because, why not? Interesting. We'll just, I like it. it all right. Happy with this? Super. Me too. This is great. They don't all die? It's a bonus? If we get a couple, I don't know what they actually are. They, at the store, they actually just said yellow and red. There was no, nothing more specific They were just than in that. a bin. Yeah. You know the other thing that we might need? Knee pads? There's knee some pad. In, there's, there's some in there. Yeah. Probably a good idea. Okay. Awesome. All right. And then once they start growing up, we're going to pull this off and move it somewhere else. Perfect. Yeah. Once the temperature gets a little... A little warmer. Less than freezing. Right. And they so. get some roots in there. I think they'll be good. Yeah. And we're not going to water them in because the soil is really moist. So we'll see how it goes. Okay. Great. Awesome.